Hello there, Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk. I've done it again. Um, late nights with um, a few cans of cider and eBay. Never, <laughs> never a good thing. Uh, you know, you see something on there, um, it's four o'clock in the morning, you've had a few cans, and you think, yeah, I'll, I'll just put a little bit on that. Not expecting to get it. Um, We've got something else that's a bit um, a bit fun here to um, play with. Uh, I'll get you set up on the box here, and we'll um, open this up and um, we'll have a quick look what I've um, what I drunkenly bought on eBay. Back in a sec. Right here we are. I'll get um, get something to open this with. A knife here. And also, basically, like I said, I were just browsing on eBay and. I like looking at unusual stuff. You know, I was in the vintage um, computing section on eBay, and not particularly searching for any one particular thing. Just literally, just flicking through listings, and this popped up. And I thought, oh, that looks interesting. And it wasn't. Well, the opening bid on it wasn't huge. It. I was actually expecting it to sell for a lot more than it did, to be fair. Um, couldn't really justify buying it, but I saw that opening bid and I thought, go on, I'll just put the opening bid on it. Anyway, I fell asleep after that and I woke up in the morning with, hey, you have won. Now, I don't know a great deal about this machine. I've done a little bit of research online. Does that give you a, a slight hint? We look like we've got a very old style laptop in here, don't we? But I'll say now, technically this is not a laptop. When this came out, you could get... In fact, when this came out... Uh, something like that. Would have been a pretty standard, average laptop. That's a. No, this would be slightly older, actually. Uh, this is a Pentium 90. Um, but around the kind of age that this is, this is your fairly standard laptop. Are we in? Yes, we are in. Ooh. Right, let's get this out of the box. Ooh. And it is very, very heavy for a laptop. So this isn't technically a laptop. Ooh. Get that out of there. Dear me, that is heavy. Can you see all that in shot? Yes, you can. Okay. This is what I um, picked up on eBay. Let's see if we can get in here. There's the screen. What this is, this is mid-90s, I think. Uh, mid to late night. Well, no, it'd be later in the 90s. 98, 99, perhaps 98. Um, we'll perhaps find a date when we get into it. What we've got here, this is a um, Fieldworks um, portable military computer. Um, from the little bit of research that I've done looking at these, there is not a lot of information about these online. There's a few websites of, I think, basically companies that are selling these as um, ex, you know, military and surplus and stuff like that. Uh, there's one video I found on YouTube of, I think, this model someone that's got one just powering it up and showing it loading windows um, I believe they were used in things like the Hummer H1 it's not a UK um, system this is um, American this is a US um, thing and I, like I said I believe they were used in military vehicles um, some very interesting things about it actually This is a portable computer, we have a handle on it. It's got a battery pack there. A 
apparently that is not a standard battery pack. Um, it's basically UPS. So if you lose power to the um, system, it gives you five minutes or so to shut down. Uh, like I say, it's not actually a battery pack for um, powering the computer like you would the normal battery pack. It is just a um, battery backup like a UPS. Um, power wise, we have a standard IEC there and then we have a strange connector there uh, which is a DC input and this thing can take, in fact it, this is even great, um, better, it actually has the pin out for it there underneath so we can actually, if we can get that connector we can make a 12 volt or a DC cable up for it it'll run from anything from um, 10 and a half to 30 volts on the um, DC input I have what I presume is a VGA there still got this little protective cover on it. Yeah, we've got a VGA output, three and a half inch disk drive, what look like expansion slots, well I know from looking at these, these are expansion slots. Um, we have both ISA and PCI in this thing if, um, if we are correct. Ooh. We even have a Blue, some kind of I.O. card installed on that side. And then again, we've got, I presume these will be serial. I think we've got two serial and a parallel built in on that side there. Exhaust fan. So if you think a tough book is a um, heavy luggable, you're a heavy duty computer, a tough book has got nothing on this thing. Now, if we open the back. This one, for some reason, is not wanting to. That side's opening. This side seems stuck. And the other thing is, I don't know whether this works. The guy that I bought it off did say he'd never even tried powering it up. Funny thing is, after I bought this one, he's actually listed another of them. So if anyone wants one of these, there is one on eBay. Um, eBay UK at the moment. You can get that side open, but this side seems to be... Just seems to be stuck. Um, just bear with me a sec, I'll just see if I can um, finagle that open. Okay, I managed to get it in. That I basically just get a screwdriver in there and then um, fiddle with it a little bit. Uh, that clip is seized basically, so I will have to have a look at that. But if we get inside, so we've got a designation for which each slot is. I'll lift you up so you can have a quick look inside, but basically we've got um, three PCI slots on that side and three full length 16 bit ISA slots on uh, that side. Now, I was expecting the hard drives to have gone, uh, but we've got two hard drive bays in there that will take two and a half inch IDE hard drives. That's really cool. So, you know, putting hard drives and things in this is um, not going to be too hard. And, uh, oh, it's not gone back. There we go. But what I thought, well, this, this not make the like the coolest um, portable retro gaming rig. You know, imagine playing Quake, um, Doom, Unreal, anything, anything like that should be able to run on it. I think this has got a um, Pentium two um, two three three um, CPU in it, so it's it's going to be good for later nineties gaming. Um, the screen, I believe, is an Active Matrix um, screen, so it's reasonable. It should be quite a decent screen. Um, I suppose the only thing really left to do is put some power up it and see if it actually does anything. But like I said, the um, the eBay listing said it wasn't tried, it hadn't even been tried to be powered up. I mean, does that mean it doesn't work? We don't know, but um, that can kind of generally mean yeah I've tried it and it doesn't work so I'll um, I'll sell it as it's untested but we'll um, we'll see we'll give the chap a benefit, the benefit of the doubt anyway, if it doesn't work it's got some we've got something that's um, going to be a bit of fun to uh, a bit of fun to play with yes. is that on yes that should be on Plug some um, power into it.
Oh, come. Let's try that. Oh, the power lights come on. Got anything on screen? Is that a... I can't see we've got anything coming up on screen. It's definitely powered up. Could have a bad screen, I suppose. So there seems to be something there to change the brightness or something, but don't you can't turn it or do anything. You just what's a button there? What that? So the computer isn't a hundred percent dead. What's this here? You can lift the keyboard up. So I do not know really anything about these things. It was just a bit of a, a bit of a whim purchase, really. Let me just see if I can get that to lift up. Secret compartment or something. Oh, that's where the CD ROM CD ROM drive is then. That's cool. So we've got a um, CD ROM drive under there. Right, and we've got a um, manufacturer's date here. It's um, Fieldworks, um, and it's January 1999. Right, so at least we know a date on this um, a date on this computer. Let's try it again. See if we get any. You see, it's, we're actually getting some activity there, but we don't seem to be getting anything on screen. I wonder if I've tried plugging it into my monitor and see if we can get... Um, it could just be a bad, um, a bad display. Um, it's on this side, isn't it? I'll have to unplug the VGA from my... Uh, bridge computer here. Move that over. Let's try plugging that in on the VGA side on here. Okay. We'll try again. No signal detected. It must have detected something though because the screen actually um, it did seem to switch when I um, powered the computer up. Let's try switching off again. No, we're not getting I don't seem to be getting any VJ output from it. It does seem fairly dead. It's locked back in place. That's going to be a pain if you want to get um, put a CD in though, and to lift that up like that. But what I want to use it for shouldn't be a major problem. No, so it does look like we've got a fault with it. Fortunately, like I, I didn't pay ridiculous amount of money for this and it's going to be a very very fun um, it's going to be a very fun thing to have a go at actually um, getting working but yeah so that is my latest eBay um, my latest eBay purchase we have a like a trackpad there as well um, that's basically the mouse um, two buttons I don't know what should have gone in there I wonder if that's a PMCA slot or something yes it uh, looks like it might be I think I can see pins down there I think that might have been um, I think it's been snapped out I think that's for like a PCMA card um, in there. I'll have to get a PCMA card and see if it does actually um, fit in. 
but yeah it's definitely interesting so it's definitely heavy as well it is um, built like the um, built like the proverbial battles, battleship and God knows how much this thing must have cost new um, this is where your uh, US tax dollars go um, basically stuff like this but yeah very very interesting um, bit of hardware to have a play with Obviously, we've got, I've got plenty of computers on the um, go at the moment uh, I'm not going to crack into it any time at the mo any time soon. But uh, when I've got some of the other projects out of the way, I think we'll um, I think we'll have a bit of a play with this. See if we can actually get it to um, do anything. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. It was just a really quick little um, video. Of this so um, hope you enjoyed uh, having a look at this Fieldworks. Um, what model number is it? It's a Fieldworks. Um, I can't actually see a uh, model number on it. It's got a pat test sticker on the back from... Um, oh, 2005. Have we got a model number? Yes, it's a um, Fieldworks model 7233PX. As I say, I, I believe it has a... Um, 233 megahertz um, I think it's a Pentium 2 it might be Pentium 1 actually um, it doesn't matter really for what I want to use it for like I said for the retro gaming I want to do on it I think it should be quite um, quite suitable anyway actually, I'm going to leave it there for now I um, hope you enjoyed that little um, look at this thing so thanks for watching and goodbye